I wanted to talk about uh, should the atheist community ignore the effects of religion, like religious organizations that are outside the church that are uh, that affect our life outside of the uh, non secular and part, right? Uh, Can you give us an example? Uh, I guess the the pro life part would be a, a good good example in the states there, where okay. some religious organizations pose as something similar to uh, uh, clinics to help um, oh, you yeah. know, with that choice and and sure. really I, prevent I that see, free will choice. So um, that's uh, the biggest example off my head there. No, that's a, that's a great example. So are you asking why we don't just let Christians harass and try and pass legislation to take away oh. bodily autonomy from women? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Okay, uh, what? I think, help, help me here. Uh, I, I trying think... to change what the the uh, clinic does itself or those organizations. I'm I'm saying why don't we do more to help that person? that is asking for help and and uh, doesn't have that option to uh, in front we of do. them kind of thing, right? If they're, if they're looking for... Uh, so there... Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Google Planned Parenthood, they'll be happy to take your donation. I mean, I don't know how to... Yeah, I I, yeah. I I think I agree. I yeah. I don't we, know. We I, should not ignore the things that religious organizations outside of churches do that affect our daily lives, and we should help people that need help. This is the yeah, the but, most um, agreeable theist caller on any show ever. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I guess I well, don't see I'm where the point of contention about the victim, is. The, the person that uh, goes murder to is help. bad. We they agree. just uh, have uh, someone uh, try to change their belief about what is right and, mm. and uh, affect their own free will. Where it's, if someone doesn't have, like, I'm sure there's gaps within uh, people being pushed uh, that that belief system there that they, they want to make their own choice but are incapable or un unable to make that free will choice. And and my thing is, should the atheist community try to identify those those gaps and try to do something about it to help that person that that is looking for help and needs others to help them? Wow, that that's that's powerful. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, atheism is just the answer to a single question: Does a God exist? And um, because there are so many people who tie a lot of the rest of their lives up in religion, that means that as atheists. Mm -hmm. uh, we wind up having to explore those things separately. And Jamie and I are both secular humanists. And being a humanist, looking out for other people, trying to support other people, you know, the, w w one of the big draws that religion has is this huge sense of community. And so that's why here we're trying to grow and support that, that community, mm. right? And... Um, <laughs> The more we can provide that, the more we can say, you know what, you don't need to be a part of my tribe, you know, of you know the first Episcopal Church down on the corner, uh, but you are my neighbor, and you don't need to live next door to me, you know, and we do for each other. That's the world that I want to live in, and so I'm going to work to be part of that world. Um, I, I think we all want to be on that world too, but I, I think. It uh, my question to myself, and I guess I can ask you guys, do yeah. you think religion is holding back humanity from progressing in its, into the 21st century, where religion was, was the contract of, of the 20th century that they all agreed upon, but we do not agree upon it within the 21st century? And if we hold on to that contract, is this going to pr prevent us from progressing in the ways that we would if we were to, to use our own free will and do what we know is right at the time with what we have. So to answer the initial question, which I think was, do you, do you think that religion think is religion holding, holding back humanity back? from progressing? Yes. Yeah. Again, I, I don't know. This is a, this call feels, well, feels too easy. It's a trap or something. <laughs> um, so I, we can, I, oh, sorry. No, no, that's no, okay. No, no, I, I, I actually wanted to just chime in. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think that we as a society are progressing and you do see it in the way religion has changed in the last hundred years and what people say that their God endorses and doesn't endorse. And it's not just Christianity. I mean, take a look at the Mormon church and how much they've changed in the last hundred years because they're giving their religion the credit when we as a society are growing. What they need to realize is that it's a super to justify the bigotry. Absolutely. But I don't, I don't see us not growing right now. I think that if we were to magically press a button and religion were to go away completely, um, would we have less reasons to act shitty towards each other? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I think if you were to peer into a crystal ball and you know <laughs> look 100 years into the future, I think that their idea of God the you know the the idea of of what their religion has to say is going to be a whole lot more humanist because we do realize and we do learn that we need to be there for each other so yes i i, I not to I be to doom and gloom here. oh sorry um my my like religious people can take collective actions due to their beliefs to try to to get to a certain end mm -hmm. and i think that's something that's uh they have a leg up on on the atheist community because yes they mm. they, they do take collective action at times there but it's not uh, uh uh spread out it's more local kind of thing right there's no no uh um we need a pope of atheism, and then we'll just agree no. to follow them, <laughs> whatever they say. Uh huh. It can be Dawkins. We, we, still have, no. we still have the 20th century issues lingering today that have common sense, simple sure. solutions. Feed mm -hmm. the hungry, all that other good stuff. That that's just common sense there. And until we address those, we can't even address our 21st century problems, which are really complex. And I think it's pretty. I, it calls on us to 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 go after those those 20th century issues that are ex like pretty simple to do, but we've yet to do it because we've yet to come together on those issues, right? And and once we we learn how to to come together and and solve simple solutions like feed the hungry and 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 put a, a shelter and. and make sure kids are safe all oh, like all the the negativities of our world today we can do something about it right yeah yeah absolutely so I, yeah so wow man. That, that collective action that 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 the where's the equal and opposite response to that that in, insidious effect of of religious pushing belief uh, where we don't have our free will choice like that's the to me, we're, we're held back from that contract of the past to use our free will choice because we're still holding on to that 20th century view, which prevents us from from feeding everyone and 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 solving simple solutions. And it will make us that we'll never come together to to solve the 21st century so, uh, issues or even look at them because they're too complex. Honestly, I just put a frame around what he just said. Yep, like. Again, this call is like. Yeah, we have you on. We have the, you registered the as a here? religious person, not as an yeah. atheist. Yeah, I I kind well, of view religion as a 20th century institution, right? And and um, yeah, it all goes towards something else, and and we'll have some some lack of understanding going forward from so, there. But I, I. You know. I agree with your framework for the world, and despite how the thing, the bit I'm about to say is going to sound, I am actually, like, I would say a pragmatic idealist. But if, as we said, if we could push a button and all religion disappeared, right, all of our problems wouldn't be solved, even just... I'm pressing the button. I think it's this one. Oh, I, I, I no, don't think um, there is any sorry. magic button. We, 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 it, we but, need to but I mean, like the progressing of, it, right? of humanity without this barrier between us, it's not the only thing that's there. We still see other people, air quotes, as other. So, um, it's just that religion facilitates that really, 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 really one, well. One thing that I think of also facilitates is like religion has good and bad. We can put pros and cons to it. And if we Community on, has 
pros and cons to it. Religion has community, and that's all it's got. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess rituals my, can be fun, but yeah. only because there's a community. I, what what what's the need for religion at all, though, in in your view? Because I we agree with you that a secular approach is one that includes everyone. Um, what drives you to take? I, I mean, I guess I'm not understanding where you're at on on, on the religion question. Um. I, I guess the it, I have to go to an analogy to to go to uh, Martin Luther King's speech about the the mountains out there and that whole promised land thing there, and uh, I, I I've looked at that analogy for a while there and and kind of reflected on that where religion's just debate about what past reaches to the top where all past really do. Uh, connect and, and go to the same place there and and uh, at the core of most religions they hold some promise of some some type of experience or existence but in essence the 20th century versions held us back because if we had those we wouldn't really need to to have the, the books to explain it to us we would know what what we we would be the right thing to do that kind of thing right and we're coming to those points just just yeah. not in in uh, that I, sense, we're kind of thing, right? It's kind of a natural evolution of of, of disbelief and, and yeah. rediscovery kind so, of thing. So, Kyle, what I'm getting out of this is you follow religion because it has the potential to do good things. Do you have any truth claims? I, like, does it does it point? No. I mean, no, I, I mean, are I, there I, any I, central tenets? Do you believe that you? Have do you believe that God exists? Do you think that a God is looking down on you and watching every last thing that you do? Are you on that on the the mountain uh, top analogy? If you were to reach that mountain top on your own, there's a moral dilemma. Uh, do you just go down to the promised land on your own and forget everyone that's on the other side of the mountain, or do you go back down to? Uh, the people you care about and try to, to to bring them up to the other side where the the grass is greener and once you you take who uh, that, you care with and who it, you Kyle, care that, that's uh, very nice but that didn't answer the question yeah I Kyle sorry I feel like sorry, you and I are, are mostly of the same mind as far as a, a view of the world okay. and the potential that collective action has to affect the world um, so let's let's see if we can get a little bit more direct here, though. Okay. Kyle, do you believe that a god exists? I <laughs> um, I think there's an energy that animates all of us. That that is part of natural growth of creation. I think if you were to take that energy out of you, you would no longer be alive. And and there's something to that which is our consciousness. It's something to do with our brains. Our, our brains hold our our identities more than our body. So this animating right. energy, it animates things that are alive, or does it animate life and also you know a rock slide? Oh, I, I would I would I would just call it the well the. That that's natural forces kind of thing, right? That's that's a little bit different. I, I would I would call well, it every, everything if, living, right? There's the living world, and so we're, we're part of it. What it sounds, yeah. Away, what it, what it sounds like you're saying is that the living world has some supernatural aspect to it by the nature of its being alive. Do you do you not agree? We have an energy that makes us alive, that animates us, and if we were to take away that energy, that that Based no. on the, are harpy, you'd be dead. Based no, on the no. way you're Pretty describing reasonable. it, no. Um, an energy implies something other than energy. Like the biological process by which my body breaks down energy and is struggling to break down the alcohol I drank last night is something that we understand, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. But uh, if you know, if I don't eat, I starve. And so in that way, if I run out of energy, then there's that. 
Yeah. Man, we, we, there's right. there's life and death. There's living things in this world that we can well, point at and say that's there, alive. There are that's there are things I mean that are alive. World. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the I don't know. Sorry. The no, that, the that, life and death it, it, gets very symbolic and poetic and I poetry of there's reality. there's a lot of death in the world is there not we can separate that what is dead and what is alive in the world there right? there are things yeah. that are alive and there are things that are not alive yeah right? so, so yes, uh, yeah. is a rock dead hold on if it was never alive we're getting but, off base I, I, well, we really were I the, think the, so, yeah. the question was was is this energy yeah. magical in some way or are you talking yeah. about the physical My, processes uh, in our bodies yeah. I, I think this is an interesting debate, but my original intent of calling well, here was to talk about sure, sure. like religion holding back humanity from progressing. I'm not like the the whole energy and alive thing is 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 up to debate. But I'm here to have conversation, right? Well, and figure out where. It well, yeah. you know, so I'll take apart your. Well, well my. The, there's a concept called structural violence, and it's the, the contracts of the past holding yeah. back humanity from progressing. And, mm -hmm. and there's that in the religious context, and there's that in the, the technological context. There's lots of inventions out in the world that we've never seen that could help us today to, to solve the 20th century problems and the 21st century problems. But they're mm -hmm. withheld from our knowledge and, and our, our realm of... of uh, so information right and then so that i don't know that that's things, true i think we you don't think there's there's information that we should know that that is being prevented like that we, i i yeah. i can conclude hey there's probably technology that's been developed we'll say oh i don't know by the defense of the department of defense of the u.s government um that i don't know about I'm willing to say, yeah, that, that probably exists. There's almost certainly a super secret special atheist seeking rocket that I don't know about or something. <laughs> but um, I, I, but I think if we were to take a pause button mentality and just hit the pause button and look at one individual problem and see how we traditionally deal with it, which is usually um, a few select things. And, and there's probably a hundred or thousands of different ways to address that one problem, but we don't uh, address it in, in an untraditional which, sense. Which problem are you right? referring to? Well, we, do you want to go through the, the thought process? Of going no, through no. It? no, that's I, okay. I'm, I, I'm actually up for re-listening to this afterward and getting a better understanding for what you're saying, because I feel like what you're communicating isn't getting fully across to me, and I feel I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. But would you be interested in calling back and, and yeah. having a further discussion? Oh, for sure. I I, I, yeah. I, I, I take stuff from you guys in your response because uh, I, I, I don't get to have these conversations very often, and I appreciate your, your time and energy. Well, we appreciate yeah. you too, man. Real quick before we let you go, it sounds like mm -hmm. one of the main things you're concerned about are problems with stagnant institutions from the previous century and the way in which they impede humanity as a whole's ability to help humanity. Well, I am and, also and, concerned by these same institutions and the same problems I, they cause, and that's why I'm sitting behind this desk talking to a camera. So yeah. you may very soon find that encouraging religions, particularly the ones that exist, is not something worth pursuing. Sorry, I... I, I no, I just mean, it, it sounds very much like, oh, I'm interested in, in religion. I don't know whether you still... Well, we're... We're good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Well, as, do you promise to call back? I promise Better. to call back. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you yeah. here. Take care, Kyle. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for calling. All right, you guys have a great day. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> Will too. Will do. Bye. <laughs> All right, bye. Yeah.